at Woo Woo. Welcome back to another session of Swing the Print God and some fractals tutorials. And today, we're gonna work on how to emotion the screen. And I get a lot of calls, a lot of questions from newcomers, just newbies in the business of screen printing, and they wanna know, how do I emotion the screen? I sell a lot of fractals, and this is what they wanna know. So first, I'm gonna start off with some story time. But before we do that, all the real ones know what to do, man. Like and subscribe. Let's get to it. When I first started screen printing, man, I ain't know no better. You know what I'm saying? I used a cookie sheet right out of my kitchen because that's what it looked like they was using on the video. And so I motioned to probably about a dozen screens and it worked. It came out thick as hell, but it worked. But today, we're gonna use the real deal. We got an actual scoop coder right here. And I believe this is about an 18 inch scoop coder. And we're using some Photosphere Blue Emulsion. And this is what I use, so check it out. So we're gonna use a little Photo Cure Blue. This is a good emulsion, I like it. Helps me get the half tones, and it's great for plastic salt paint. So I shake it up a little bit. Crack it open. These cans can be tight. You want to make sure that your scoop emulsion, your emulsion scooper, you want to make sure that your emulsion scooper is clean, your edge is sharp, and then we want to pour a good even amount in there. You want to keep a rag handy because, man, this emulsion can get messy sometimes. You want to pour not too much, but enough to do the job that you need. Oh. Wipe off the excess. Put the top on it, not too tight, because you're going to put the excess, once you're done, the extra emulsion, we're going to put it right back in the bucket and use it later. And here we go. So we're gonna apply, we're gonna apply the emulsion on opposite print side. That's the print side, that's the opposite print side. And we're gonna go two coats on this side, one on the other side. And so come a little closer. I want you to see that as the emulsion hits the screen, you're gonna slide up to a nice, smooth, even stroke. And we're gonna apply two. Spin it around, and then we're gonna do one on the print side to push that emulsion through the back side. And then we're gonna store it with the print side up. Let's do it again. Opposite print side. Let the emulsion hit the screen. Bring it back. We're gonna do that twice. Spin it around, put one coat on the print side. And like I said, you know, this is just my method. This is what I've been doing. Some people may put two on both sides. Some people put one on both sides. You know, it's really your preference and how it works for you. But this is what's been working for me, so I'm gonna share it with you. Once again, you wanna make sure that your motion is evenly spread out through your scooper so that when it hits the screen, it's all hitting the screen at the same time. We're not really worried about getting ink emulsion. We're not really worried about getting emulsion all on the screen because that's what you're taping is for. We're gonna tape off the edges to make sure the ink doesn't get through. One scoop on the print side. That's my preference, you know? Boom and you store it. I've been using this uh, storage right here that I made probably about 10 years ago as well. You know, I just got a big freight uh, box and then I put slots in it so I can put the screens and I think it holds about a dozen screens at a time. 
and it works great for me. You know, you don't have to have one of those expensive uh, screen holders in order to do the job, man. It's all about making it happen. So we go have one more screen, actually two more screens to go. Print side, opposite print side. You wanna make sure the emulsion is on there, smooth and evenly. Slide it up once. Slide it up twice. Do the temptation spin. Wow. Roll the other side. Let the emulsion sit right back in the scooper so that you don't pull it away and get drippage on there. The smoother you get your emulsion on there, the better your image will come out. Again, this is the last screen. This is an old one I've been using for about five years, but you know what I'm saying? When you reclaim them right, you can reuse them. Let the emulsion hit the screen good. Get an even smooth stroke. Let the emulsion fall back in the scooper. Repeat that. Mm. OJ spin. Get the print side. Let it fall back. Beautiful. It's easy. And once you get it done, then you want to close it. Now it's ready to use, let it dry. It usually takes like probably about a couple of hours depending on what your, you know, your temperature, your humidity is in your city. But to me, I let it sit there for a day or so. It's not a big rush. If I really need to use it, I might turn the fan on in the back and then, you know, it'll blow it and dry it in about an hour. You know what I'm saying, no rush. But tonight, we're gonna let it sit there for tomorrow we can expose the screen. So this is what we do when we put the excess back in. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've always been an artist. I'm a finger paint artist, so I use my fingers, you know what I'm saying? And I just get it, scoop all the excess back in there, because we can use all that. Emotion ain't cheap, and it seems like whenever you need it, if you ain't got it, shit out of luck. And so, all of these little extras that you get to save, ends up saving you money, and that's what it's about. It's about time, it's about money. And this is gonna help you on your screen printing journey. And there you go, it was that easy. That's one of the first things you need to learn in order to be a good screen printer is how to put the emotion on the screen. And we just did that. The next thing, I'm gonna teach you how to expose the screen. And we're gonna use the very new product from Fractals, which is the Exposure Mod. And this is a really dope extension to our whole family of products. This fits right up under the screen rack and all the Q-Series models. And we're gonna show you exactly step-by-step step on how to expose the screen. And it's easier than what you think. I'm gonna make this real simple. So all the real ones know what to do, man. Like, subscribe, all that good shit, man. We out of here, woo woo.